What's what's what 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 is All right. this? This isn't quite a, a bath news, but we're gonna file it under there because it's related. Anytime a bath comes up, even if it's <laughs> completely always... pointless. All right. Because so, immortals Demonaz and Horg. Demonaz. As per Metal Sucks here, are fighting each other for control of the band's name. Now, a little background here. Uh, if you don't know, I'm sure you do. If you're watching this, a bath wasn't immortal. Abath and Demonaz are the original founding members of Immortal. Horg joined. Horg. 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 Demonaz. Uh, Abath. That's, that's, that's very good pronunciation. Uh, he joined uh, in like 96, so after some of the formative uh, important albums, but yeah. still very so, early. They didn't really have it. a they didn't have a real drummer up until Horg uh, joined for good. They were 96. a power trio. So, at that point, they were a power trio. Power trio. trio. All right, so back in 2014, to give a little further background, a bo- uh, there was some kind of a conflict in the immortal camp. And they, they, um, the, they intelligently got rid of a bath. Well, so what happened was there was a, and the conflict seemed to be between uh, a bath and the other two members. Okay. So they decided to take a break. A break of unknown, you right, know. So let's just definition. draw. It. I'm gonna, I'll, you know, I'll put diagrams up, maybe if I have time. No diagrams. It's not okay. that. Could I, should I just do it? My, so here's, here's, uh, up, here's. All right, um, we're not ready for that. Oh, okay, yet. Right, right, right. So they had like a, a rehearsal space, and of course, Demonaz and Horg were like, "Well, we don't need it anymore. We're taking a break from the band." But a Both wanted to keep it, so they moved their Demonaz and Horg moved their stuff out, and a Both. You know, stayed, and he also started paying for the whole thing. Mm. I've kind of uh, been through this before. I feel like many bands. I feel like this is not a real problem in life. <laughs> like, how much is the studio? Like five hundred dollars. Like, like I feel like this isn't a thing to really cause that much. But I guess when you're in a band, I guess it does. But okay, well, it didn't cause a conflict because a boss was happy to take on the studio, He'll pay all the money, right? Because he wanted to keep it. Yeah. And they didn't want it, and he That's was fine. like, "Fine, it's mine now." That's fine. And I don't some, disagree with for that. some reason. He took that as their official resignation from the band. So he's like, "Fuck off! You're not They're coming like, back oh, to the studio." You're not going to pay for the rehearsal space anymore. Guess you're out of the band um, mm. that we've had for 20 years. <laughs> so that's a dumb way. Can I just c- comment? That's a dumb reason. 25 years. <laughs> like, if they want to take a break, like that's like if I wanted to like like not show up to like if I just didn't want to like play anymore. Like you know, I think yeah, I guess maybe my band would right. replace me but like i don't think it'd be that big of a deal so instead of you know speaking with them and confirming uh a boss uh petitioned for sole ownership of the immortal name and logo all this because of his studio so this just there's a reason the, the original well, reason for this for him i think you know he wanted it and when they counter petitioned because they're like what no you cannot have all of immortal um, his, a boss lawyer said, "Well, you guys moved out of the studio, so that's why it's, 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 it's you guys quit." It's weird to think like a boss like deals with this guy in a suit and go like like a boss has a lawyer. Listen, this is Norway. Like, like a boss. This is, is Norway. There are black metal lawyers. Yeah, they must be. Yeah, because it, there's just violence over black metal. So there's probably like ever since Varg, there's probably like it's specific. like a whole field of law over yeah, there. Yeah, maybe they made a law. The Swedish guy is like, all right, we need to, in Norway. They're like, all right, we, this is getting out of hand. We need to have a legal team. And we have to like have a, um, a, a an, an area of study for lawyers in law school, um, specifically for black men. Ever since VAR did that thing, like we got it. This is a national problem. Churches are being burnt. People are being killed. Multiple people were killed by the VAR people, as you saw in the movie. Multiple people were killed. Uh, it wasn't just um, Uranus. So um, yeah, so they probably needed to really take action in Norway. There's not a lot of things going on in Norway. All right, there's plenty of lawyers for this sort of thing. Yeah. Um, they have like they have so, like corpus paint too. You know, they counter petitions to keep, and Nor- Norway decided that the immortal belonged to all of the members, not just one of them. And since so, Aboth lost, and he decided since you know Demonaz and Horg wanted to take the, take a break, and he didn't. Horg. 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 He Aboth would form his own band. Aboth. Unfortunately, see what you guys you. did. See what you guys did. See what you guys un- you let. Now we have to deal with him, and it's Alone. horrific. You saw what he did. Like you saw why he's not playing anymore, and it's not because of the coronavirus. It's because he's a fucking idiot. 
So for those not aware, a boss had to enter rehab for being incredibly drunk uh, somewhere in we South America. We saw him a few days before that happened. Not days. It was like a, a few, few months. Was it months? Was yes. it a few months before that happened? Yes, it was a totally separate tour. I feel like, I feel like it was like a few days. No, it was a few months. Um, but he was a complete raving asshole when we saw him. He wasn't an asshole. He was a fine. He was a fucking he looked, asshole. He looked like he was drunk, but... I saw up there a raving fucking asshole. He didn't that, do anything wrong. He looked like a black metal Gene Simmons. He a did. A pathetic fucking black metal Gene Simmons to me. He did look like that. I was, he had the but glitter But he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything that and made him an asshole. his fans were... His, there was one guy that was an asshole. That was a big. He was like, I'm a big fan of a boss. And, it's like, and he right. was fucking like throwing himself at everyone. And if that you challenged him, like PCP he would something. start. Yeah, he would start hitting you harder if you were like, stop. Like, and everyone was like, fucking stop, dude. But and he was like moshing before the band yes. hit the stage. Yes. He was just trying to fight people. And everyone anyway, was just like, fuck off, dude. This is not what the article is about. It's about him. It is. This is just background. So we already had this uh, issue with the name that a boss initiated and then he was gone and he formed his own thing now to prove a boss wrong because a boss had claimed that he was a sole songwriter demon oz and horg released their own album in 2018 uh with immortal still immortal yes they are immortal they you know a, a boss i think could play an immortal again they're not gonna live forever all right so i'm not funny they released, that wasn't a good joke no they released their 2018 album, Northern Chaos Gods. I heard it was well-received. I didn't really listen to it. Um, and now, the next year, 2019, Demon Oz thinks back to what happened with the boss in 2014. It was like, that was a good idea, you that know? That was a good idea. I could do that again. And then he files, he petitions hey, for sole ownership ho- of the immortal hey, name. Hey, Horv. Hey, Horvac. What's his name? Horg. Horv. Listen, I got to talk to you. Here's my lawyer. Actually, my lawyer's going to call you. Well, no, he did it behind his back. Whoa. Horg was not contacted. Whoa. You got to deal with lawyers if you're doing Just this. Just like a boss did it behind their backs. Yeah, but eventually he's got to come to a legal notice. I'm not sure. I don't know how this works, but he just petitioned for it, and Horg became aware of the petition. So I don't know if anyone contacted him or Where what. are we now? And Horg is counter-petitioning. That's where we are now? Yes. Um, what is Horg? What is his demands? He wants it to be how it was, where... No, he doesn't want you, though. The girlfriend's breaking up with you. She does not want you anymore. Well, he's saying that if, I guess, you know, if Demon Oz wants to write music and have it all belong to him, or to be, to be, it can't be immortal. If it's going to be immortal, it has to include Horg. Demon Oz doesn't want you anymore. But Demon Oz's argument is that he is now, since a Bach left, the only founding member and the only person who's been on all albums. Which is a pretty low blow to Horg, I think. Because, yes, he, d- he did miss some key, uh, you know, albums there. But uh, 96, he's been there since 96, guy. This like, is a black metal soap opera. Okay, I'm going to have to just... Okay, All right, guys, you stand here. You stand here. Wait, no, Aboth doesn't want anything to do with you guys, right? So he's not really a thing anymore. Actually, Aboth said that he would be open to reunion. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Okay. All right, Aboth, all right, sit there. You, Aboth, Demon Oz and... Although... Considering Horth? all of the lineup changes, his solo project that he's had, a boss should definitely stay away. Yeah. All right. So, so could we, as your legal advisor, a boss, can you? I suggest I I um, recommend you do not pursue um, a reunion with Demones and and say Horg. It? Horg. Um, he's like a Klingon, like Horg. Um, and okay, now so a boss, please leave the table. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this out right now. We're gonna figure this out. It's my bad joke. Okay, so Horth and Demonis, you two. I think Demonis, what he his demands, he does not want to go out with you anymore. He wants to have Immortal be his, and he will get other musicians. Horth, you're the drummer. You probably don't have any talent. Well, that's not clear actually. So what? So what, what are we saying? They asked Horg, who is the one I'm trying to figure this out. Like, so is Immortal over? Once you figure this name out, are you guys done? Um, and he's like, no, he's like hopeful that we'll still record a new album together. Technically, Horth didn't come up with a name. No. So Demonis should have the name if he wants it because he thought of it. He helped think of it. And Abath, you know, they don't really want him around. So like if if Demonis wants to form the Immortal Band with two new guys, he should be able to. 
So you're down on team De- Demonaz? I think he Demonaz? should. He was the original member. A Both is also an original member. But we, we but we, oh, right, but our legal team figured out we didn't want a Both to be part of this because of obvious reasons. He doesn't have a good track record. He might cause more drama because he a drinks. A Both can only be in a solo band now. He drinks a lot, right? And well, apparently he's clean. Now. We, I don't, I, I'm okay, but he has bad credit. Okay, we're he's not going to. Bad credit. <laughs> I I would rec- you don't have a good rep. Um, I've seen your shows. Like I've seen I've seen you walk out drunk. I've seen you fucking make an ass of yourself. I've He's never clean seen Demonas. I don't know that. I I've, I've never seen Demonas do any of that stuff. I don't know, but I've never seen it. And 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 Horvath, um, Horg. Horg, you um, I'm sorry, but you're like maybe you can form um an immortal AD. Right. That sounds great. Yeah. Sure. Maybe he could do that. But I don't. Demonis doesn't want anything to do with him anymore, though. We don't know what his uh, thoughts are. We don't know what's going on in his head. I feel like it's a breakup, and he doesn't. It's a divorce, and he doesn't Very get it. Very passive aggressive here. Like he doesn't get it. He's not wanted Just anymore. Just tell him what, how you feel. Um, in my in my own advice, personal advice, not legal advice, don't squander a drummer like that. I don't care how how annoying he is. Be a little more open minded to your drum because you, how do you know you'll find one again? He'll get another drummer. All right, you will. Oh, there we go with the privilege thing again. Oh, okay, so you can get a drummer. It's from Immortal. By snapping okay. your finger. How come I can't get a drummer by snapping my finger? Because you're maledictus. I, I have 119 followers. Drummers out there, comment down below. If you'd want, if you're local to New Jersey area, um, North Jersey area specifically, you know, North Jersey metro. Yeah, but that's not my band, though. I would like a drummer. I bet he'd start a new band with you. I know he wouldn't can't stand me i can't i can't even play properly why would anyone want to deal with me no forget it no no the deal's off i have to play alone because no one could deal with me (laughs) did you know that abath uh was married to demonaz's sister as well uh okay this is complicated so demonaz's nephew is abath's son Uh, (laughs) how unfortunate this whole thing is why can't you guys just get along is the most exciting thing going on in norway since varg Everyone needs to appreciate this, and we need to make a movie about this. We need to appreciate what we have. We have another... Somebody might get killed. Someone might get killed. Horvath might come out and be like... Horg? Yeah, he doesn't have a gun, because they don't really have that. But he'll stab him, like, 50 times. No, Horg seemed pretty laid back. Yeah, we, so did Varg, right? Like maybe No, we he thought, didn't. Maybe we thought Varg was harmless. He was just, you know... All right, let's stop painting all black metal. They're all... Immortal state... Immortal is really not part of that whole thing so yeah we don't know they didn't they weren't part of the church yeah, yeah they weren't like in that they right? weren't involved in that at all they were like the fat nerds that no one called they yeah they sing about like fantasy evil stuff okay yeah they're not just they're a different thing yeah so let's not you know let's not confuse okay. them but what if they did you know okay well this is exciting though and we, we will be following the hero lives metal podcast we'll be following this story okay 